Okay, it's a brand new week. It is Monday, May 4th, 2020, and it's workout of the day 21. Okay, so we've done 20 different uh, workouts of the day since April 6th, and we covered 75 exercises in that time. So within this, this uh, week here, um, from Monday to Friday, we're gonna cover 25 more exercises. So we're gonna take it from 75 all the way to 100. So today we're gonna cover exercises uh, 76 to 80, and I'll show you those next. Okay, so the exercises for workout of the day 21 are as follows. Okay, so we're gonna look at a lateral squat burpee. We've done some lateral squats, we've done several different burpees. I love that as a good explosive combination to start with, really hard on the legs. We'll do that for five reps total. Okay, number two is gonna be our cross toe touch crunch. Okay, you're gonna like that. Number three is an oblique mountain climber plank. Okay, very difficult exercise. We have not done any of these before. These are all brand new. As I said, when we're doing 100 exercises, that'll be 100 different all body weight exercises with no equipment at all, okay? Um, exercise four is gonna be our spider push up today. And exercise five is our beginner jackknife. Stay with me and I'll take you right through them. Okay, so exercise one today is a lateral squat burpee. Okay, so keep in mind the lateral squat was when we were just reaching out to the side and squatting down, okay? Squatting down, what we'll do is a squat on each side. We'll do one squat on each side and then we're gonna drop into our, into our burpee, okay? So just so you can kind of see me here and I have more room to do the maneuver, I'm gonna do the lateral squat and then I'm gonna turn sideways to do the burpee part just because I don't have as much room this way. Okay, so it would be uh, lateral squat or sitting back, lateral squat, Okay, and then I'm gonna turn and then come up and then turn right back in to do the lateral squat. So just work, do whatever works best for you, okay? Um, as far as a modification on that or a variation, remember just like before, um, just go at your own pace on the uh, squat part and the burpee parts and just go only as low as you're comfortable going. Technically, you can go really low and that's gonna be more difficult and the, takes more energy to get back up. So that's gonna be, if you wanna make it harder, just go lower on the squat. If you wanna make it easier, just do a small step, a small step. Remember, down, slow, step, 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 and then stand. So just make it and vary it to your capabilities. Okay, so exercise number two today is a tough one for the abdominals. It's a cross toe touch crunch, okay? And this one we're gonna be pretty much straightened all the way out and then we're gonna cross over. So watch me here. Um, I'm gonna get spread out on the mat here. Okay, wide hands and wide legs. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you in slow motion. Um, we're basically bringing your toe and your leg together so my left arm and my right leg is coming up that's dropping down lift and I'm keeping my other my arm and my leg my opposite arm and leg pressed to the ground so lift 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 we're gonna try that five times on each side Okay, exercise number three today is a mountain climber plank, an oblique mountain climber plank. Okay, this is a tough exercise. Now watch this here. Okay, so we're going to get into that position where we were doing those plank hopovers before. So it's the same type of position, but what we're going to do in this one, we're not, not doing any jumping. We're actually going to walk to the far side of this arm to get the obliques involved. This is an excellent advanced exercise. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Walk, walk, walk to the outside of the elbow. Walk back around. Let's make a circle. You see that? We're walking around. Believe me, it's gonna work your abs a lot harder than it looks. Or it might look hard, it is hard, okay? Walk around. And remember, just vary that. So if you, if you can't come all the way to the far side of your own arm, just come as far as you can, okay? Try to walk back in a circle, come around. Get as close as you can. If you can come uh, further over, it's gonna be working your body just a little bit harder. We're gonna try five times on each side. Okay, exercise four today is gonna to be a spider push-up. Okay, so what we're gonna do on that one, it's similar to a regular push-up, we're just gonna get a little bit wider. Okay, so on this one, we're gonna get flat on the ground here. So instead of a military push-up where we would get underneath your arms here, we're gonna bring your arms really wide and your, and your legs really wide. And then instead of focusing on pushing just straight up, we're gonna focus on pushing your butt straight up in the air. Your head's gonna stay down, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. Spider push-up is there as opposed to a military push-up, which would be here. So big difference, okay? So in that one, we're getting wide, wide. I'm kind of at the corner of each mat, of each um, corner of the mat, okay? My head's staying down, so I'm gonna start with my nose on the ground, okay? I'm just gonna focus on pushing my butt straight up in the air. So it's a little bit different muscle groups here, okay? Toes are pressed down, I'm pushing through my hands. Nose is down, okay? Push, down, push. Push. We're gonna do 10 reps of those. Those are spider push-ups.
Okay, and exercise five today is gonna to be a beginner jackknife, okay? And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you several variations of those as we go along, okay? So beginner jackknife today, this is what it looks like, okay? And we're here, the great ab exercises today. Okay, beginner jackknife's gonna look like this. Okay, we're gonna go here, we're gonna focus on bringing the knees in and you're gonna to try to touch the back of your heels as you come up to a crunch, okay? So I'm gonna come up, crunch, I'm touching, okay? Doesn't matter which way your feet are pointing, I'm touching here, crunch, okay? reach out, crunch, reach up. You don't need to focus on getting too low with your legs on this one, okay? Don't go too low, you might feel that more in your back, okay? So keep your feet a little bit higher and think more here to here. Not all the way down, that's gonna be a little hard, okay? So keep them a little higher. Make sure you can see your toes at all times. And remember, you wanna crunch up as you're doing it. So try to stay high when you come to the crunch. Reach out with your upper body, crunch, touch, touch. We're going to try 10 of those in a row. Okay, it's workout of the day 21. It's round number one. Let's go. It's lateral squat burpees to start and then we're going to move right on into the abs. Okay, so lateral squat. I'm going to go side to side, drop into the burpee, come back up. We're going five repetitions. Here we go. Okay. Reach down, push. Reach down, push. Drop, kick. Come up. Okay. One. Down. Drop. We got two, three, push, reach down, push, four, and one more time. These are going to be tiring. These are tough. Five, reach down, and come up. Okay, that's five of those. Excellent. Okay, so now we got those cross toe touch burpees or cross toe touch crunches for the abdominals. Okay, so that one. We're getting flat, we're getting wide, okay? So this is like the spider push-up upside down. That's why I wanted to include both of these today. So we're gonna be here, okay? Touch, 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 touch. Two, three, three, four, four. One more time, five, and Five. That really engages your abs from another angle there. Excellent job. Okay, okay, so exercise three was an oblique mountain climber plank. Okay, so we're getting our hands on the ground and we're walking to the outside of your leg or your arm, and then we're gonna walk to the other side. This is gonna count as one repetition. We're gonna do five total, okay? So I'm gonna be here, okay? Feet are out, I'm walking, I'm not jumping in, okay? So walk, walk, walk. Try to bring your hip as close to your elbow as you can, okay? Walk back out in a circle. Okay, one. Two. Speed is up to you, okay? Just go slow. It's not gonna make it easier. Go careful. Go as far as you can, okay? I'm going as far as I can go. Go, oh, yeah. Four, one more time. Five. And five. Okay, excellent job. Spider push-ups next. We're gonna go flat right here. And then we're gonna finish, okay? So spider push-up, wide, wide, wide. Wide. Okay, so I'm starting wide. My nose is going down. I'm pushing my butt straight up. We're going to go 10 times. Okay, 10 push ups here. Okay, here we go. Push, put it breathing out on the push. One, two, three, four. Stay wide. Five, they're hard. Halfway. Six, seven. Eight, two more. Nine, one more time. And 10. And then we got those beginner jackknives. Okay, so the spin back over. We're gonna be on our back. We're gonna focus on touching the back of the heels as we crunch. Okay, so beginning jackknife. Tough exercise, keep your feet visible. Okay, here we go. Starting out here. Reach, touch, crunch. We're gonna go 10 times, two. Three, four, five, six. Back of your heels, seven, that's your target. Just do the best you can though, eight. Nine, one more time, and 10. That's round one, we got three more to go. 
Okay, stay with me. It's round two. Here we go. Lateral squat burpees. Let's break into it. We're exercise one of round two. We got one round out of the way. So we're going to go side, side, burpee. Okay, five times. Here we go. Right, side. We're going left. Side, drop down. Out. One. Okay. Just get your rhythm here. Two. A pro at these burpees. I'll tell you after this, right? All these different burpee methods, techniques, and styles of burpees. They're excellent. Explosive exercises. Okay, last one. Okay, five. Great. Cross toe touch crunch. Okay, let's do it. That's going to get our abs. We're going to go five times on each side. That's going to be 10 total reps. Okay, we're going here. Time to touch. Keep the other one pinned to the ground. Touch. Two. Two. Three. Three. These are tough exercises here. Four. Try to touch the toe to get as close as you can. Last one. Five. And five. Okay, great job. Keep it going if you can. We got those oblique mountain climber planks. Okay, so we're going to come up here. We're going to walk to the side, then we're going to walk the other way. Five times each way. Ten total reps. Here we go. Walk in. Come as close as you can. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Last one. Five and five. Okay. Spider push up. Get wide. Here we go. Okay. We're here. Nose to the ground. Butts going in the air. Ten times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one and ten. Okay, and then we got the beginning jackknife. Okay, so back onto your back. One more ab exercise. We got a lot of these today, but keep it going. Okay, try to touch the back of your heels and crunch at the same time. Okay, so we're going here. Up and start. One, you might feel yourself rotate a little bit on the mat. Two, that's natural. Three, back of your heels. Four. Five, halfway, these are tough. Six. Seven. Eight. Last two. Nine, last one. And 10, that's round two done. Two more to go. Okay, don't give up. Let's keep going. It's round three. Here we go. Lateral squat to burpee. Keep it going. Keep it going. Here we go. Five times each way. Let's go. Drop down. One. Low as you can, right? Two. Make them perfect. This is three. Low as you can go. Here's four. Good movement. Last one. One more time. And five. Cross toe touches with the crunch. Okay, we're getting wide just like the spider push up upside down. Okay, here we go. Five times each way. Touch, crunch, crunch. One, two, two. Three, nice touches. Three, try to make contact. Legs stay straight. Four, it's gonna stay a little bit. Five, and five. Okay, mountain climber planks, keep it going if you can. If you have to rest, just breathe for a minute, okay? Let's keep it going, keep the intensity up, keep the cardio up, okay, here we go. Mountain climber plank, oblique mountain climber planks, that's what they're called, here we go, coming to the side. One, just walking, 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 one. Two. Two, come as far as you can out. Three. Three. Four. Four. 
five, last one. And five, okay. Drop into your spider push up, and then we're gonna finish with the jackknife. Okay, here we go. Stay wide. Hands and legs are pinned wide, your toes are pinned down. Let's go 10 times, head down, okay? 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, halfway. Good job. Six, keep it up. Seven, eight, last two, nine, last one, and 10. And then we got the beginner jackknife. Round three, we're almost done with this, guys. Here we go. Okay, beginner jackknife going for the back of the heels. We're going up, reach, make contact, slow it down if you need to, okay? Make contact, crunch, hold. Let's do this one slow. One, two, three, much harder, isn't it? Four, Five, halfway there. Good burn. It's a good burn. Six, we're alive. Do this outside if you can. Two more times. Like I said, you're gonna rotate a little bit. And 10, three rounds down, one more to go. Okay, I didn't take any rest, I promise. Round four, here we go. A lateral squat to burpees, here we go. Five times, let's go. Crush it. Down, careful on the burpee, back, back, back. One, okay. Low as you can on the lateral squat. Get as much out of it as you can, okay? Two, boom, boom. Two, good explosive energy. Burns a lot of calories, okay? Three, builds a lot of muscle at the same time. A lot of different muscles have to work on these movements because they're complex, okay? We're not isolating anything specifically we're working the whole muscle as in, whole body as an engine, and that is a way to burn a lot of calories. This is fine. Okay, great job. Okay, cross toe trunches with the crunch. Cross toe touch with the crunch, wide. Like the spider push up, but we're opposite, okay? Here we go. Five times each way, I'm breathing hard, I'm sweating. Here we go. Let's touch, crunch, we're going as high as you can. One, control. One, let's do this one slow, make it painful. Okay, two, breathe out, breathe out. Okay, two, three, three, last two. Keep the opposite one painted down and the other one we're picking it up. Last one and crunch and hold for a second. Okay, great job. Oblique mountain climber plank. Okay, last round. Let's keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Let's go. Five times. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. One, two, two, three. Three, reach with your knees, reach out, okay? Four. Four, last one, these are tough. Five, and five, okay. Spider push up, just like the cross toe touch upside down, wide body push, instead of a, instead of a crunch. Okay, here we go. 10 push ups and then we're gonna finish with the jackknife. Here we go, 10 times, let's go. Up, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, three more. Eight, last two, nine more time, and 10. We're done with those, and then we got the beginning jackknife to finish. Okay, I'm sweating. Here we go. Finish strong, stay with me here. Last exercise. Hey, okay, workout of the day, 21, it's almost done. Here we go, let's reach up, reach out. Come around, touch the back of your heels on this, bring your knees as high as you can, bring your head as high as you can. Okay, so we're getting lower and the upper abs. 10 times and we're done. Okay, here we go. Slow and control. One, two, bring those knees into your chin as high as you can, okay? Far as you can. If you're gonna do it, do it right. 
four. Great job. Keep it going. We got five more to go. Five. Last five of the workout and we're done. Six. Breathe. Seven. Okay. Eight. Last two. Nine. Last one. Make it count here. Good form. And hold. Crunch. Workout of the day. 21 is done. Stay with me for the trainer tip of the day. Hey, great job today, everybody. We started the week off with a tremendous bang. We're into May, and let's keep it going. Okay, so for the trainer tip of the day, I wanted to talk about something really practical, something we've pretty much been doing the whole time. It's how to make your own circuits, your own exercise circuits, okay? So um, for about a 20 to 30 minute workout, what we've been doing in the format that I've been kind of working with is doing five exercises and then four rounds of it. And usually, just depending on the exercise, you'll notice I do, I do between five on each side, depending on if it's a unilateral exercise. If it's just a single motion exercise like push-ups or something like that, I might do 10 reps. But you can, kind of, you can make up the number of repetitions to what suits you best. But what I'll tend to do for about a 20 to 30 minute workout is do five exercises for between five and 10 reps each and then I'll do four rounds in a row. And the best part is, is by the end of this week, you're gonna have seen, if you've watched the whole series or you wanna go back and see the whole series, in every single video we've made, we've done different exercises. Except for the second week where we kind of covered what we did in the first week. Every week after that, we've introduced 25 new exercises, okay? So by the end of the week, you'll have seen 100 different body weight exercises. Some of them you're gonna like, some of them you're not gonna like, some of them you'll be able to do better, some of them will be a lot harder for you. But that's the best part about it, is this is just an example of a format you can follow to get a good 20 to 30 minute exercise program in every day. We'd be taking five exercises and doing four rounds in a row, okay? If you wanted to make it longer and you wanted to double that you could do five exercises and do eight rounds you could do ten exercises and do four rounds as an example so there's a lot of different um, things you can do and then what you can do is just combine different exercises that you pick out of the big library of exercises that you've seen and remember no equipment at all no equipment at all so this is kind of like our lockdown workout where I'm not asking you to say use a dumbbell and a bike and a rowing machine and a whole bunch of stuff you probably don't have because you're just using your body weight. And this is showing you how to use your exercise or how to use your body as an exercise engine to get great results from home. So that's how to make your own circuits. Use some of the uh, exercises that you see in the library to make up your own circuits. Pick your favorites, pick the ones that are gonna give you the most improvement. And that's the trainer tip of the day.